Hi everyone, Felix here from Stride. Today we have the pleasure of sitting down with Aaron Bird from Agrara Real Estate here in South Hurstfield. Aaron is a key agent in the area, specializing also in Blakers. Look, the reason why we've got Aaron in today is recently there was an article on Domain mentioning that there are a number of key suburbs which have held some good value even though in this downturn and Blakehurst was named as one of them. And look, we really wanted to sit down with a specialist to get an understanding of what are the key attributes in that area which actually has you know allowed it to have some strength and held well in this area in this yeah. space beautiful well firstly thanks for having me no yeah, worries. It's, uh, excited to be here uh yeah well blakehurst is one of those look it's, it's one of the premium suburbs of st george mm -hmm. and i think the reason for that is uh it's surrounded by water yeah. you know that's always a bit of an x factor when it comes yeah. to buyers but also there's some really good schools in the area yeah. as well and, and that's a big draw card particularly with the the Chinese market, yes. you know, it's really important to them to have, um, you know, good schools in the area. So I think uh, Blakehurst, that would be the reason why that has fared mm. better than, you know, some of the other suburbs within St George. Absolutely. And look, scarcity, water and good school catchments, you can't go wrong. They're always good, good things to start <laughs> with, aren't they? Yeah. And look, what have you seen today in today's current market out this way? Yeah, well, look, um, I think um, in, in our market in particular, um, it's held pretty well. Mm. Um, there's certainly some opportunities that have come about in the last yeah. six to 12 months. And I think more so for those people at the entry level, trying to get into the yeah. suburb for the schools or Absolutely. close to the water. Um, you know, that market seems to have been hit a little bit harder than, you know, potentially the higher end in Blakehurst. Yeah, yeah. So there's certainly some good opportunities um, upcoming within Blakehurst, particularly for those people wanting to get into the suburb, yeah. you know, and have got those lower those lower budgets. Yeah, so definitely good entry price for everyone out there. Correct. Yeah, okay, good. And look, I guess, are you seeing any particular properties or any characteristics where a buyer would, would be kind of looking out for that actually holding better value in the area? Um, what we're finding are the homes, um, a lot of the buyers that I'm dealing with at the moment, the majority of them want to walk in mm. and have the home ready to go. Absolutely. You know, particularly if they're paying a premium for something, they want to walk in, put the bags down, knowing that they have nothing yeah. to do. So those homes that have been renovated or are near new are, are, are selling yeah. really well in yeah. Blakehurst at the moment fantastic. and the surrounding suburbs, of course, as well. Yeah, fantastic. Hey, and look, we're all about educating buyers and, you know, buyers want a lot of information and tips. For someone who might come to you as a friend and they're looking to buy or the kids are looking to enter that market, what would be your best advice or tip for someone looking to tackle this? Um, it's a good question. There's probably <laughs> quite a few of them. But look, I think that the biggest thing that I'm still seeing yeah. uh, in buyers at the moment is um, they're coming to me, you know, uh, looking to buy a new home and you know you start a conversation with them and, and you very quickly realise that they haven't got finance mm. approved. And I think in this environment and yes. in this current climate, uh, that's the first thing that buyers need to get organised. Um, particularly just say if they go and see a property that's an auction property, with the banks taking the time that they're, they're, they're taking, yep. you're not going to be ready in time for auction. That's so right. I'm seeing a lot of buyers miss out on homes that yeah. they really like. So what I would say to people is before you start looking, don't waste your Saturdays, yep. get to the bank, um, get the pre-approval, sure, yeah. get all of that organised. Uh, ducks in a row and then you can go out to, to open yep. homes with confidence that if something comes up and um, you've got the ability to be able to buy that yeah. home. Yeah and look we're, we're very much the same as buyers agents we don't take on clients unless their finance approved mm. because it's not we're just wasting everyone's time yeah. you know, we want to be ready to go. I'm um, looking at the last question for all those coffee lovers out yep. here you know where do we go Aaron where do we go for good coffee? Well there's, there's a, a, quite a few good places in, in St George to go. Um, yeah. My favourite is, is very much local. It's down in Cole Bay called yeah. Cup and Cook. Yeah. Um, great people, good service. Um, they do a really good coffee um, and you know some good food as well. So nice. if you're in the area and you know, uh, oh, I'd recommend highly you <laughs> pop down and, and, and see the guys and, yeah. and get a quick coffee and, and uh, hang out there. Fantastic. Well, we appreciate your time, Aaron. Pleasure, it's mate. been great meeting you again. Thank you. With everyone, so uh, hopefully that's helped. If you want to find more information about the area, definitely look below. We've got Aaron's email. He's a specialist. He'll give you all the tips that you need looking to buy a Blakehurst. But look, more importantly, get your finance ready so that you know exactly what you can afford in the area. And thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.